What some have called the greatest day in Canadian horse racing took place the afternoon of October 12, 1920 at Kenilworth Park in Windsor, Ontario, when the two biggest horse racing names of the day, Man of War and Sir Barton, faced off for American turf supremacy. Organized by the track's operator, Mr. Abe Orpin, the Kenilworth Cup was a much needed boost for Canadian racing following the wartime ban on betting in 1918 and 1919. Originally proposed to also feature 1918 Kentucky Derby winner Exterminator, the mile and a quarter distance and the weight restrictions were not acceptable to Exterminator's owners. Instead, it was a duel between Man of War and Sir Barton in what would become the first horse race filmed from wire to wire, with the footage later shown in movie theaters across the continent. Owned by Sam Riddle of Philadelphia, Man of War was the leading three year old of 1920, holding more records than any other horse of his time. Sir Barton, America's first Triple Crown winner in 1919 and champion of the older horse division, was owned by Montreal's commander, J.K.L. Ross. The original Big Red, Man of War was the prohibitive 1 to 20 favorite going into the race, in front of an estimated 30,000 spectators who wagered over $220,000 on the race. Sir Barton had the advantage at the start and led by a little more than a length in the early furlongs. By the half mile marker, Man of War had overtaken his rival by two lengths. At three quarters, the lead had been cut to a length and a half when Man of War's jockey Clarence Cummer responded by letting his mount out to open his lead to four lengths as they entered the stretch. It's Man of War leading Sir Barton by 15 lengths. With Sir Barton being urged to his limit, Man of War continued to run effortlessly to cross the wire ahead by seven lengths lowering the track record for a mile and a quarter by six and two-fifths seconds to 203 flat. Man of War is an easy winner. For his efforts, Man of War received the winner's share of a 75,000 US purse and a Tiffany & Co. designed gold cup valued at $5,000. That same trophy known as the Man of War Cup was later donated to Saratoga by Mrs. Riddle and is now presented annually to the winner of the Travers Stakes. Man of War's lone race on Canadian soil was also his final career start and win, something that was repeated by Old Bones, Exterminator, and a later Big Red, Secretariat, who also concluded their careers with wins at Canadian tracks.